Hello there, folks. It's me, Michael Bach, your diversity dude, and it's time for another episode of Monday Morning Musing. And for those of you who are thinking, damn, he looks tired. I have been sick in bed for four days, but uh, what a, a better way to say thank you to your team who were working tirelessly than to come into work when you have a lovely cold. And hopefully I'm not going to hack during this uh, video. Uh, I wanted to talk quickly about the Awards of Success, which is uh, CCDI's uh, special tribute to DNI practitioners and champions across the country. They were launched a couple years ago and nominations are now open. So I wanted to uh, say a couple things about them. First of all, <clears throat> we've got five awards, three original awards and two that are new this year. And in fact, we're doing two blooms, East and West, uh, that will be held um, April 26th in uh, Toronto for the awards East and May 24th in Calgary for the Awards West. So the way it's working is if you reside in uh, Ontario or East, you'll be part of the Awards of Success East. And if you reside in Manitoba West, including the, the territories, you'll be included in the Awards West. So that means not only are we giving out five awards, but we're giving out 10 awards. And these awards have often been uh, compared to uh, the Oscars of diversity, mainly uh, and only by me, but uh, they're such a fantastic event um, and an evening to acknowledge and recognize the people that do this work, either full-time, part-time, or in a volunteer capacity. Um, and uh, we're really happy to be able to recognize people. And I just want to to uh, kick you over the categories. We've got the DNI practitioner, diversity and inclusion practitioner of the year. That's a person who works full-time or part-time in diversity inclusion, human rights, and equity work across the country. We've got the Senior Executive of the Year, which is an award that goes to uh, the senior person uh, responsible for diversity and inclusion, the person who has accountability for it. Um, we've got the HSBC Community Contributor of the Year Award, which is about somebody who's doing volunteer work in diversity and inclusion, whether it's for its immigrant serving agency, an LGBT agency, uh, indigenous group, whatever the case may be. Um, and new this year, we have the Employee Resource Group of the Year, and that award will be given out to an employee resource group that has uh, done some exceptional work in the area of diversity and inclusion within their organization. And that award, just so we're clear, will be given based on head office location. So if your head office is in, in Saskatoon, um, but you're a national organization, then you're part of the Awards West. And if your head office is in Ottawa, um, but you're a national organization, then you go into the East category. Uh, and last is Employer Initiative of the Year. And this is given to a specific initiative within um, the employment environment uh, related to diversity and inclusion. It's pretty broad, but we want to start to bubble up some of the best practices of things that are being done uh, around diversity and inclusion. So um, nominations are now open. They stay open until Friday, March 16th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I want to encourage you to apply or to nominate somebody. Um, you can get a ton more information about this that will actually be coherent at ccdi.ca slash bloom. And uh, you can also pick up tickets for bloom now on sale at ccdi.ca slash bloom. Um, that's it for me. I'm now going to crawl under my desk and have a coughing fit. I hope you're having a fabulous week. I hope to see your nominations for the awards of success. Remember to subscribe to my channel and we will see you all next week for a less bacterial infected uh, Monday morning musings. Bye.